In this video, we're going to be going over hip movement within a basic. I'm just gonna teach a little bit of it. I won't teach all of it because sometimes it can feel like this when you first get started. So if I teach too much, you'll just feel overwhelmed. So we're just gonna go over a little bit of it and then I'll go over it a couple more times, more in depth in other videos in this course, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. So let's tap. Uh, let's tap right because our basic goes to the right, okay? Typically when we do footwork in a class, we start with the gentleman's basic, but since this is a ladies course, we're just gonna go ahead and start on R1. Okay, but keep in mind when you're at class, you almost always have to start on the gentleman's basic. So when we do this hip movement, if we tap, let's just practice moving our hip, okay? So when we step out, we want our hips to go the opposite direction we're stepping, okay? So if I'm stepping out to my right, I want my hip to actually go to the left, okay? And I don't wanna try to make it really go. I just wanna think it's almost being left behind. So my foot's moving, my ribs are moving, but my hips are just not with the program. They're being left behind, okay? And I'm sending them slightly diagonally back. So I step and my hip gets left behind, the rest of my body wants to go this way, but my hips are being left behind. As I step together, my hips are finally gonna get with the program, but everything else is gonna go to my left and my hip is to the right. I'm gonna step out again and do the same thing as that first step. I step, everything goes to the right except for my hip. Yes, and now I can tap. And for now, I'm just gonna stay neutral for this one, okay, to keep it super simple. Now we have to reverse everything. So let's go back and do this side again, just so we don't get overwhelmed. We'll do this side a couple times and then we'll teach the other side. So as I step to the right, my hip goes to the left. So it's always kind of lagging behind. So we step out, my hip goes to the left. I switch my weight, my hip goes to the right. I step out, my hip goes to the left. And then I tap neutral for now, just so it's easy. A couple more times. So again, don't try to make the hip movement too exaggerated, okay? just. Try to think that the right side of my body, right here, and my foot are going to the right and my hip is behind. Keep in mind, so I'm gonna go from the side. If I step, I don't want it to go literally directly to the side because it's gonna create this awkward movement. It's slightly back, yeah? So it's a little more natural. So when I step, my hip goes a little bit back. And I switch, and I switch, and I tap, okay? So one more time and then I'm gonna show you a little exercise that may help. So we step out, our hip goes to the left. Our hip goes to the right, our hip goes to the left, and we tap neutral. Okay, so let's do a little exercise and then we'll teach the, the rest of the basic on our five, okay? So let's, we're just gonna take steps and we're gonna switch our weight like this on, and bend one knee and straighten the other, okay? so. Let me face you for the first, and we'll do it from different angles. So we're gonna step onto the right leg and bend our right leg and straighten our left, okay? Then we're gonna switch, switch, and switch, and switch. And you can do this a little bit more dramatic for now. So when I bend my right, I straighten my left leg, and then I can send my hip back. So it creates this little twist, okay? And then I switch. Now my left leg's gonna bend, and I'm gonna straighten my right, and then I can even rotate my hips a little bit and switch and rotate my hips. Yeah, again from the front and then I'll do the back. Bending my right leg, or you can mirror me if you want. Bending one, straighten. Now at this point, I can make my hips rotate a little bit more. My chest wants to stay forward. So I don't do this, yeah. I wanna keep my chest looking forward as my hips go. Switch, hips go. Hips go, hips go. So if I want, I can then speed this up. You just wanna get the motion of your hips going in the opposite direction of your chest and your legs. Yeah, boom. And just do this, relax, don't think about it too much. If you need to pause the video, slow it down, repeat, slow it down, repeat, totally fine, okay? Then you can even start stepping. Step, 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 like merengue, yeah? We do this, da, 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 right? So think of this merengue step, okay? and you can pretend you have a partner, put your arms up, sometimes that can help, okay? Then let's travel it. So as we step out, we still keep that same. Right leg straight, left leg bent, switch, switch, switch. We're just gonna keep traveling to the right so you can kind of get the hang of this. And let's stop, now we're gonna travel to the left, so opposite hip, it goes this way. Step, switch, 
switch, switch, switch, switch, switch. Okay, so hopefully that exercise kind of helps loosen it up and understand that kind of switching. We don't have to do it as dramatic when we're doing our basic, but it helps us understand the twisting without kind of like doing strange stuff. Okay, so now let's do the basic on the five, like I said we would. So we'll tap left. Yes, our hip has to go to the right because we're leaving it behind. So we're gonna leave it behind slightly diagonally. We step out, our hip goes to the right. Switch, our hip goes to the left. Make sure you switch your weight here. Hip goes to the left, we're leaving it behind. Neutral for now, okay? Again, doing this on the five. We step out, our hip kicks out to the right. We go step, yes, we're in this foot. Switch your weight, switch your weight. Tap neutral for now. One last time, okay? And then we'll go back to back. On our five, we step out. Hip goes to the right, hip goes to the left, hip goes to the right, tap neutral, okay? Don't worry about your arms for now because it's just adding too much. We're just thinking about our hips, okay? So let's do it again. We're gonna add the one and the five together, the full basic. We'll, go do, we'll do it slow and then we'll speed it up. We step, one, two, three, neutral for four. This is where it gets confusing. We have to send our hips in the opposite direction as we change directions here. Hip goes to the right, left, right, tap, neutral. A little bit faster, okay? Hip to the left, hip to the right, hip to the left, and neutral. Switch directions, hip to the right, hip to the left, hip to the right, neutral. Okay, so practice this quite a bit and then make sure you do this over and over. Once you kind of get the hang of the hips, then you should layer that on top of the feet, making sure your feet are doing the right thing that we talked about in the foot position video and the hips, okay? So before you move on, practice those quite a bit until you feel like you can do them without thinking about it so much. Once you feel like you've mastered it, then move on, okay? If you move on too quickly, you're gonna start to feel overwhelmed. So if you feel overwhelmed at all, Make sure you don't move on, okay? Because you'll, you'll just get stressed out and you'll stop doing it. So don't do that. Just put a song on if you need to. Relax a little. Make it fun. Don't take yourself too seriously, okay? So see you in the next video when you're ready. <laughs>